I pray. I mean, I, I pray, but I'm still struggling. Does God hear me? I tithe religiously, but I'm still struggling. Does God hear me? And then I read this book. And realize maybe I wasn't listening. Contrary wins. For those who want to give up, but need to know, greater is coming. Bye now on He Did Not Forget Me. To another episode of the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast. I'm your brother, Oga from Hip Hop News Uncensored. And sitting across from me is my co-host. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man, Sam Ant, CEO of Viral Hip Hop News. You're in the building for another edition of the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast. We've got a special guest back in the building. I don't know if this is around 3, 4, 10, whatever the fuck it is. But we got a uh, right junior back on the podcast. Yeah. Reggie, what's going Respect on? Respect to my brother. Here? Respect to my brothers from the East Coast. It always uh, allowed me to come on their platform. Much respect and love to you, brothers. Definitely, man. Right back at you, brother. Definitely appreciate your time. We're going to get the pleasantries out of the way before you get at us. Man. We're talking behind the scenes and you say, uh -oh. you got something to say about our video. But before we nah, get that out of the way, all seriousness, how you feeling, man? You know, we, you were dealing with some things from COVID. I know COVID is just as common as the flu nowadays, but some people really dealt with yeah. it, dealing with it, brother. So how you feeling, man? Man. It's been a slow road, but it's coming back, bro. It's coming back. So I'm, I'm almost ready for y'all. Be able to sit on y'all nice studio, because I love y'all sound and y'all quality and stuff that y'all got going on over there. Whoever does that for y'all does a great job. Yeah. Much appreciate it, man. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. we do it all the time. Yeah, he, did, he did a great job. <laughs> thank you. Now, y'all have a great, great sound quality. Thank yeah. you very much. Appreciate brother. it. Yes, sir. Yeah. So let's, um, first, before we actually get into you can go either way you want. If you want to talk to us about our video yesterday, we can go there. Nope. Nope. I'm going to let y'all ask. I'm sure it'll come up right. and, we'll, and we'll talk about it. <laughs> well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with the, um, since you in California, or, or were at one point. Okay. What's your thoughts on Kamala Harris? She's now, you know, um, oh. being pushed through. Give us some insight. You lived over there. of what? Well, you know, I, I, I'm yeah. a Democrat. I'm a Democrat to heart. I'm, you know, okay. I'm a Democrat to heart. I used okay. to talk to that Republican, you know, uh used to talk like that until my dad one day was like why are you you know just because you're doing okay and successful most of the people you say you love need the things that the democrat parties push you know like you know money for social security uh welfare and stuff like that he said you know everybody is not as is able to have a, a a decent you know career like you and yeah it's a lot of people that take advantage of the situation but you have an auntie that's disabled and, or she have a disabled uh, son and all of that. Mm -hmm. You don't, you think she don't rather be out there working at, you know, working and still having to be at home and taking care of him. And he said programs like that, the Republican parties generally don't like to fund or, uh, or like to have. And so it was stuff like that that make me think that, uh, that the Democratic Party cares for the for the people more than the Republican Party. They care for people that generally are making four hundred thousand dollars or above uh, as a family. And um, from my experience, now, uh, Miss Harris, I'm support. I gotta be one of those now that I'm gonna defend the black lady. I ain't gonna let these people just attack a black woman. And that's what we gotta do. And that's all I'm gonna push as a black man is don't let these people attack the black woman. Um, no matter what, I'm, I'm sorry. I know people say, well, there's things bigger than, you know, than getting your bill or a bill or this or whatever. She's still a black woman. Um, no matter what people say, Dr. Omar and all of them say she ain't black. She this, she that. I don't agree. You got a 1% of black in you. You're a black person. <laughs> what if you're not identified as black girl? What if she said, she said well, she was Indian? What's your thoughts on that? Uh, OJ don't didn't identify himself as black, but he see he ran back to us right quick, didn't he? When uh, <laughs> so we we're forgiving, we're forgiving society in my opinion, and and we'll take you back. Uh, Tiger Woods, shit, when Tiger was over there beating this woman with the golf club, we was all mad and all that shit when he was going through what he was going through, right? Mm -hmm. He said he's Tiger. He said he wasn't black. So we have people that do that, but. You know, that's just the ignorance on our part of growing up and thinking we better than somebody. But ultimately, ultimately, we all still black. And they're going to treat us and, and show us that we black. Um, so 
this on the car. I know that ain't a big thing. I know our we don't like to talk about politics too much on on the hip hop channels and stuff like that. Um, but I know we got to talk about it a little bit. But um, I I I don't think the Democratic Democrat Party is making a wise decision. I hope they make a a VP that would be strong or whatever. Um, but. I'm just gonna not gonna let people on social media attack the black woman without saying something. And um, uh, because I don't believe, I don't believe, I don't believe a president run things anyway. You talking to a yeah. person that believes the senators and the Congress and the people in the majority like that run uh, run things. When Biden was in office, my push was all right. Fuck it, we'll lose. Let, let Donald Trump go and be a president, but let's get control of the House, the the uh, the um the Congress. Let's get control of the Senate. And then he, he can't do nothing but veto shit. And so that's what we got to learn and you know, take up, uh, you know, if anybody's been to college, they, they'll teach you that in, uh, in college that, hey, sp spend that money in no, in no places that you didn't think you was going to win and turn them over to Democrats. And then at least you'll have um, some control because he had to come to the table and negotiate with you. Would be my take. Now, a lot, a lot of people, uh, criticism of Kamala Harris is that she locked a lot of brothers up in California for well, petty legal, I mean, a weed mm -hmm. charge. Can you, can you speak to that? Yeah, I'll, Everybody shit, I don't want to. But that ain't that. Man, I'm telling you, that was just the law of the land, man. You know, they just push, push the agendas. As, as the attorney general, they didn't care about the criminal justice. They were suing big corporations and stuff. Going after the corporation to get billions of dollars, you know, they all, you know, just because she was a uh, 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 attorney general for a state, man, hey, it's better than this motherfucking L.A. County District Attorney we got right now. Um, oh. He's letting man, he's letting people out uh, right now. He he's letting people off with crazy stuff, and that's why I think our crime crime rate is going high. I'm not one for I, I believe in probation. I'll be honest. I think there's only certain crimes that are for a first offense that people should have to go to prison for. I'm, I'm a stone believer in that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, which was murder, rape, molestation, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Don't put their ass in jail. Um, but like weed or selling drugs or theft and all of that, I am a big stone supporter of people. Uh, okay, you fucked up one time. You're on probation now. Don't do it again. Now you do it again to mess up, then yeah. Then we got somewhere to put you where you can you learn, but um, as far as just going to jail, you messed up, you accidentally had a car accident and freaked out and left the location, and then you turn yourself in a couple hours later, and now you found out persons is injured and all of that. I believe that's what probation is for. Yeah. We appreciate your perspective. May disagree or disagree, but you know what? We always appreciate yeah, I got you. Perspective on the platform, exactly. man, and much respect yeah. to you. Let's get to this. What you disagree on? What you disagree about? Tell me what y'all disagree about. I said, are y'all Republicans over here? I'm not sure if I know that. Neither one. Yeah. Nah, neither one. But go yeah, ahead. Go, go. I just feel like black people. Every time election comes up, like I think people that's voting for Kamala is voting because she's black and she's a woman. Oh, I. Totally. Yeah, I, I, I mean, no, 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 no. That's a lie. That's a lie. I vote Democrat. Yes. Yeah, but even that, like, just picking a party, just to pick a party, like when Trump was yeah. in office, Social Security was still around. People were still getting, you know, he didn't, he didn't eliminate it the first time. He tried to. Did y'all have y'all? If you really studied that, uh, that twenty-five uh, pack or whatever, he's trying to eliminate a lot of stuff in there that our older people uh, was going to have a hard time. If we supposed to love our grandmas and, and grandpas and all that, we need to research stuff like that, and not just think for our benefit and ourselves. We gotta sometimes think about people that's not as beneficial as we are. But I don't want to take up too much of your time on your no, platform on that. Even, yeah. even, no, no, um, please do. Please. We got plenty of time. Even mm -hmm. the Pac twenty five thing, I was hearing rumors that he's not. He don't have nothing to do with that. Like, well, like, well, no, yeah. it's the people that's put money behind you, and so we know we gotta listen to our donors, right? If not. His his uh his people that's up in, for election in uh in, in you know in the second year in two years they will all be in big trouble if you know if he go and say oh yeah we're gonna do this I'm gonna do that he will lose the house senator in every race if they if you don't you know honor your deals with your pack 
if and if that's what the Republican Party is pushing, and he's a Republican, he gotta he gotta go for it. He gotta he he gotta stick with that party line. My thing is on on this entire situation is. I don't care who you vote for if you understand why you're voting for him. Like you have an argument against Social Security, you have an argument on why you vote Democrat. That right. is your right, that is your belief. But I think too yeah. many people in the majority out here, in particular in our community, are ran so much by emotion. And these people know that. They know if they put somebody out there that looks like us, that walks like us, that talks like us, so we perceive that we're not going to care about policy. We're just going to go ahead and vote for them. And you see a lot of the pundits out here that are going for Democrat like your rappers and various things, trying to fear monger us into believing that if do were to get in the presidency again, we are gonna get put back into concentration camps. And that's what my biggest thing is that we don't have an open mind to decide for ourselves who we want to run this country and who's gonna best have our best interest at heart. And because Donald Trump is known as to be a racist and this or that, then if we were to go with him- I don't believe he's a racist. Him, this or that. Yeah. I don't need I believe he, I, I believe he pushed the agenda four years ago to get in office because he felt that that's what he needed to do. But I don't believe that was in his heart. Nah, me neither. Yeah. And I don't, and like I said, I don't care who you vote for as long as you know why you're voting for him. And I think too many of us in our community, we don't know why we just run off of emotion. And I think here on our platform, yeah. we try to open that up and to, to whatever criticism we'll take that we don't mind that, but just open minds and eyes up to knowing why you're voting for the person you're voting for and not just listening to the bullshit you hear on the media. That's all. Respect. You know what I mean? Well, very well. Yeah. So, so you had a disagreement. We did the video about um Keefe D Diddy, supposedly the um you know a million dollar bounty was up. Uh, what's your disagreement with us? If you want to get into that, well, just that I, I and I understand y'all probably this is probably something that's uh uh maybe not as fresh to y'all ears or 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 kind of new to y'all ear or just something. You know, there's like these situations that's going on on the East Coast and and in other parts of the country where I'd be like, okay, I'm not a, that aware of. But I heard you guys say that that the the allegations were just being made about the million dollars and all of that. Well, and I was like, whoa, wait a minute, no, that allegation been out there. Uh, that allegation was made by Keith D. Uh, in his first proffer in like 2008, uh, 2009, where he talked about how did did he um called him to the sandwich shot and they met and uh and he was like um hey man you know i'm tired of sugar and, and you know pop and he made a, a solicitation to you know offer them a million dollars if you know they take care of it that was done in 2008 so that's not something new and y'all was putting it out like it was something new that um that 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 kpd is just throwing all of his ass right now and then i was like no no guys no no this has been put out there. Now, I'm like you guys, like you said, I don't believe that's going to happen to Diddy behind it because mm -hmm. if they can't prove it, you know, just because a nigga say something, I can go say right now, yeah, I killed Tupac, I killed Biggie or whatever, just because I'm crazy enough and stupid enough to say that, that's not that's not enough to put me in jail for. Mm -hmm. And so just because he's accusing Diddy of that, they try to investigate it by sending him out to to New York and meeting up with Von Zip, had him wire for sound and try to get him to talk about it. But Von Zip was like, hey, hey, dog. <laughs> he was either smart enough or really what he said. He said that, oh, hey, I'm out of the game right now. My nephew's running stuff. You have to deal with my nephew. I'm fighting cancer right now and I ain't trying to deal with that shit no more. I passed the torch. Um, is what was said in like 2008. And all of that was wire for sound. So that was one of the things that I had. Uh, the disagreement that you know y'all was putting out like it was new, like it was something that Keefe just pulled out of his ass. Uh, you know, now that he's you know doing whatever he's doing. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm in agreement with you guys, and y'all summed it up correctly. Y'all said ain't shit happening to Diddy behind that because they didn't already try to investigate it. And uh, so, so we got the we the end result, I guess we agree on that. At the end of the day, nothing's gonna happen to Diddy yeah. when it comes to Pox murder. But in your opinion. Like in, and in, I don't know how much you know or don't know, but do you believe, in fact, did he have something to do with Pac's murder? I I believe he put that out there a few months prior to what happened, but their intent wasn't to do anything in Vegas that particular night. Once Keefe D and and his, you know, now I always called it a two for one, where uh, their nephew got beat up on, you know, the gang shit happened and all of that, 
and they knew that that solicitation out there was a way for them to get some money that that gave them extra motivation to um to go ahead and handle it that particular night but did they go to vegas on september the 6th september the 7th to uh, assassinate tupac and, and shift no i don't do not believe that it wasn't until they beat up on the nephew that incident happened and then gang members do what they do gangsters do what they do they go and retaliate uh usually some will stalk some will plan some people are spontaneous apparently they were spontaneous now given the complexion of the east coast and west coast at that time it was very volatile people out west from what we perceived absolutely hated diddy and biggie do you think in your honest opinion or why 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 do you think in your opinion that a Keefe D or anybody from the would even sit down with a Diddy to even discuss things involving Pac being that where Diddy's from. Oh, no, no. They were definitely their security. They had been to summer jams together. Diddy would give them tickets whenever they came out here for oh, summer jams and concerts and all that. He, they were their security when they came out there. They had a re relationship. Bon Zip, Corey Edwards, a guy named Big Flint, and all of them had a a a, a, a What's the word? <laughs> a relationship, I'll just say, with each other, sending stuff back and forth from New York to, to Cali, Cali to New York. Yeah. Mm. So a street I, relationship. Yeah, of course. I, I may, maybe I misunderstood yeah. it. So you saying that Diddy did have something to do with it, but the guys didn't do it in that night. They did it at a different time. He threw, all the, he threw out the solicitation. Whether he was joking or, or what he threw out a solicitation and offered them a million dollars to take care of um, you know, if they would take care of Parker and Shug. Um, now you know how people sit around and be talking shit. I always took it as he was just talking shit, like, man, I'll pay you niggas, I'll give you a hundred thousand dollars to go out there and kill Reggie Fat Ass, you know. Yeah. I, I I believe it was something like that. Um, but hey, dog, it was bigger than enough to where Keefe felt he was old money. It was big enough to where Gene Deal and other people have said that they saw a check uh, that was given to uh, to Von Zip. Von Zip kept it and opened up a club called uh, Zip Code or something like that out there, and uh, kept the money. But the, he paid some of the. Did he pay some money? Now I know what y'all saying. Well, why couldn't that be? Why well, there's no traces of that and all of that? Well, all of that stuff, niggas didn't start talking until like 2008, 2009. Bank accounts was closed. They went out there to try to, like I said, Keefe D went out there to talk to, try to talk to and get Von Zip to talk about it. Uh, he was smart. He, you know, pretty much shrugged uh, Keefe D off to uh, to his nephew. And uh, so he never was caught on wire talking about it. I know he was like, well, this is a check. Well, Gene Deal tells us of a check. Y'all listen to Bomb First next week. I'm going to talk about it where I'm going to connect, connect some dots where uh, this guy from Black Ground Records uh, who was um, uh, where um, Tank was signed to and the guy Flint Coleman that I r mentioned name earlier and Von Zip, they were all connected streetwise and that's where the million dollar check was allegedly made out to to black ground records uh that's the guy that got timberland and tank and all of them uh gladys knight ex-husband uh what's his name i can't think of it uh no idea. come on ready uh, uh um barry hankership okay. Elias, you know the one that deal with Elias and, and all of that uh barry hankership was the one his company was supposed to got the million dollar check and uh so there's money and stuff that can be proven if everybody connected the dots right but hey, there also could be said it was done for a deal. So I mean, it's just people talking later on in life. But these things have been talked about. It it wasn't just because KPD has been in custody that these things wasn't talked about. I'm just trying to say these things were talked about in 2008, 2009. People have been investigating these things gotcha. or the allegations. Allegations. I was thinking, you know, before, like, who in their right mind will write a check for a murder? Like and I mean, it wasn't for murder. Saying, it, it was okay. for a deal. I mean, I mean, they 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 made it look like a deal. 
So I, I'm saying, wouldn't you rather be cash? I mean, I don't think it would be cash because you won't want a paper trail. Obviously, you would say it's that, yeah. but they can connect the dots. They can connect the dots, you know? So, yeah. Let me let me ask you this because we, I mean, we just recently found out that Keefe D was alleging that he was a confidential informant and that he and tried to entrap Diddy some time ago. Now you're saying he tried to um, have a conversation. It was actually with Von Zilk. Diddy wouldn't talk to him. You couldn't pay Diddy to talk to Keefe D. That's what I always left. That. <laughs> yeah, you I, couldn't I, pay him. Right. Yeah, he was crying. If you ever listened to the interviews on Art the Dialogue channel, he was like, you remember he said, hey, Diddy, I, I, I got Roman noodles, you know, and I did what I did. You didn't put, try to put nothing on my books. Keefe <laughs> D was talking about this stuff. You remember even on that interview with Art? He yeah. was begging pretty much uh, Diddy to look out. <laughs> Did y'all know that Keefe you know, was a confidential informant? How long is this information? Uh, that's been out since the murder rap investigation started. Oh. Uh, so like 2009 to 2012. 2012 wow. when it came out publicly. If y'all go listen to murder rap, y'all will hear a lot. The murder rap investigation or, or the deep dives that they putting out over there on murder rap channel. Y'all would y'all will find out a lot about this situation. The, what, I'm not saying it's true, true or not. Everything is opinionated on people saying. I'm just saying allegations that were made way before Keefe got arrested is all I'm saying. That the allegations has been out there. Wow. So being in the street that Keefe D was back then and knowing the reputation of what an informant comes with, like there wasn't any heat right. out here on, on the street with Keefe D. Like how, right. how was that? Right. His old hood, his sister don't talk to him to this day. Uh his family does disown him. If you looked at, I always joked and poked at him. But when he tried, when I said, nigga, you can't even go back to your own hood. You can't even go back to Southside. And so him and Art went and did a uh, a video at, at Compton College. And he stayed by there. Look, I'm at Compton College. <laughs> <laughs> I found out when I talked to my boy, because y'all know I love Art. Me and Art is just there and there like, you know, he can call me. We call each other there and there once, once or twice a day. And I may be, well, Put it this way. They, I blame it on the cameraman. It was 6 a.m. in the morning when they went and did that. <laughs> when they went to Compton to film that. And if you look at it, it was cold. He had a jacket on. You could tell it was morning time. But, right. Yeah. Man. So but he can't go think, back to his hood. Yeah, what do you think is next for Keefe? Um, what happened with the whole well, thing? He was supposed to get out, and then they... Breaking news. Spell. Breaking news. Right. Breaking news. Breaking uh, news. I believe it's 99% guaranteed that Keefe D will be out by this weekend on bail from WAC 100. On bail. And why is that? Do you know? Uh, because uh, the courts just asked for one more document from WAC to, uh, to prove where the money came from, and she's going to decide. I don't know if y'all know, two, two days ago there was a hearing. Uh, I posted it up on Bond First, the whole hearing. Where they were discussing the bail bonds or, or the money, where the judge reconsidered uh, allowing them to come out on bail for seven hundred fifty thousand right. dollars, and it appears that WAC one hundred uh, is going to secure that that bond for Keefe for whatever reason. Yeah, I was going to ask, what's the reason? Like, what's the connection? He said <laughs> it ain't no connection. You know, WAC is like trolling anybody to hate Tupac. Um, I mean, that loves Tupac he, because he hate Tupac uh, so much, in my opinion. But that's my boy. Y'all know it. Uh, but he's um, he's going to bail him out. Uh, he's saying it's for to buy some rights to a TV show. The prosecution argument has been that he can't uh, um, bail him out for those type of reasons. But mm -hmm. they changed it up and showed how. It's just if you're convicted that you can't do it. There's no case law and no laws on the book that says that you can't sell rights or benefit that if you haven't been convicted. Now, if he had been convicted and Wack was trying to give him some money or do something, then it's illegal. But um, it's not illegal uh, based on what they're trying to do. Even though the judge tried to, uh, to uh, you know, about a month ago, tried to block it from that, but his lawyer and they were persistent and um uh, it appears uh I go down to ninety five percent a ninety five percent chance that he'll be you'll be hearing that he out on bill you know he'll be on having a ankle ankle monitor uh, ankle monitor or something like that on 
but he might be out. He might be out in custody. You know, Biggie and Tupac's name will always be together synonymously, obviously, for their situation, whether it's been fabricated or overblown or not. That doesn't matter at this point, but for their deaths. But it seems like for some reason, Tupac's name gets thrown in the mud and shitted on more than any celebrity death that I think I've ever seen. Even this situation with a WAC 100 bailing out of Keefe D, uh, the man that allegedly killed Tupac, you would think that that would be a no-go on the streets. Like, nah, we this right. dude gonna stay there. We're not having it. But then you got somebody as famous as a WAC 100 publicly doing this. And in my opinion, it's my opinion, essentially shitting on the grave of Tupac and yeah. shitting on his name. Why is that? Why why do why does such a beloved figure like Tupac, an iconic figure, we talking about him 30 years after his death, seem to be getting shitted on by the people on on in particular on the west side? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, uh, it's um something that uh that's disappointing to a lot of people mm. uh, on the west coast, uh, myself included. Um yeah, you know, but can we really tell a man how to spend their money? Yeah, that's crazy. Oof. That's I thought it was his friend or something. They had some type of connection. He's doing it to troll. Troll. A lot of money. Troll. Trust it. me, I I know for a fact those two niggas ain't never met before <laughs> in, in my life. I wish I had a troll account. I can go ahead and drop some money to troll real quick. I need my <laughs> God, Lord Jesus. So okay, let's let's go back to Diddy. No, because... and the fairness of Wack, because me and Wack talk, he told me. Well, I don't know if I'm supposed to say this or not, but I'll just say my opinion. I think he's just trying to get the rights to sell the rights. He just everything he's about oh, is just business. Be a businessman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We we've heard that he's yeah. a businessman. What do you think about? Yeah. Um, because we talked about Diddy. I think we talked about Diddy when all that shit came out initially. I think we had you on and we spoke about it. And neither yeah. none of us think anything's going to happen from this situation. But do you think? Oh no, this September, September, guarantee y'all. How Talk much money it. y'all got? Who could be the escrow? Lot. <laughs> Not a lot. Uh, <laughs> we got to do something about that. I've been checking y'all. Man, y'all been striving and y'all keep going up and get in the, at the plate. And y'all going to hit your home run. Trust me. Y'all going to hit that home run. It's Appreciate coming. Y'all just, just keep, keep keep getting up at that plate, y'all. Y'all y'all hitting y'all base hits right now, but y'all going to get y'all gonna get that motherfucker to come around. So yes, let's keep Appreciate swinging. But, um, uh, <laughs> the government don't they don't use these resources and all of that if they don't have something. And it's easy to get. I'm not saying a conviction. I'm not saying a conviction. But he will be in handcuffs. Uh, or Diddy, Diddy. Diddy, I don't think his heart is the type of dude that can can maybe go go and just turn himself in. I He got yeah, the right. money to do it. He got the money to do it. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be hard to see, but I he definitely going to have a warrant out for his arrest by sometime in September, guarantee y'all. What would that warrant be for? Mm. Ah, that part I don't know. It ain't going to be for no assaults. It's yeah. going to be something related to sex trafficking. Mm. Uh, sex, uh, some type of sex crime. Now, do you believe that's true? Well, I believe that they were making drinks. If you listen to Gene, Mark Curry, and, and all of them, if you listen to them, he was making some drinks. Damn. Now, the, the latest uh, uh, allegation he got where this chick was like, well, he he uh, he asked my boyfriend to give him a blowjob, and he turned it down. So he had she had me go and uh and, and go to his white party, and then I had sex with Jake the jeweler, and then he, he gave Jake the jeweler an extra thousand dollars. I mean... He gave me an extra thousand dollars for having sex with Jake the Jew. What's the problem? <laughs> mm. What's the problem? Yeah. As nasty as it is, it's so, not against the law. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. And so issues like that, I, I I have when people making allegations and make and can can take you to court of law because of that, I have a problem with. Yeah. But if we can prove that that people were given a drug and fell to sleep and how you can prove it, I don't know. But if they can't prove, you know, and then he did these particular things to him, or they were underage, like that little white girl he got ta taking pictures and, and 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 doing videos with and all of that, people like that, and we find out that they've been touched. If Usher had ever had the balls to come and say he was getting touched and all of that, or which he won't, but if you know something like that came out, then yeah. But yeah. I believe it's going to be some type of crime like that. Gotcha. 
How long was Gene yeah. Dill and Mark Curry actually around, Diddy? Do you know? Well, they Diddy. were in, in, in the heyday of uh, off and on from 90, uh, definitely the, the mid, the end of the 90s, well, 95, because we got into it with him at the Soul Train, so that was 96. Okay. So he definitely was around 96, uh, 2002, 2004. We know Mark Curry and Buffy had that nice song out in what in ninety nine two thousand. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, but they weren't there. Too. They not like your boy Roger Bonds. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. How, how do you feel about people saying, "Well, if y'all knew all this stuff, how you ain't say something back then? Why'd y'all, you know, which, let this whole which part? I mean, I didn't hang around. You talking about the no, Gene and them or Gene and those guys and the Mark? Like, oh, I, 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 I've been calling them complicit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying they they complicit him, Mark, all of them. They Gene can't stand me to this day behind you know, like hey, no, you you complicit, dog. I have some complicity. I have seen stuff like that. Now, I ain't seen no drugs, no sex crimes, but this this for me to sit up here and see I ain't seen a female gets the shit slapped out of them. I've seen it. I, I, I intervened, but generally the females are sitting right back there next to them 10 minutes, 30 minutes later. Yeah. Look at Cassie. Cassie got we saw what happened to Cassie. The yep. next day she was smiling, taking pictures with him at a fucking uh, movie release. Mm. Yeah. That's what you're dealing with. So you're gonna jeopardize your job or your your situation and all that. And when you know these females are really they ain't gonna do shit. Yeah, it's That's kind of a point. Yeah. yeah, it reminds me when I was in a nightclub, I was working in a nightclub, you find a domestic dispute of a, a man and a woman going at it, and you try to split it up, you try to go at the dude, and the woman... They be on your it. back. Uh, she on yeah. your back. I, I, I swear, as a cop, they used to train us that way. Y'all know my history. I used to be a cop. They would tell y'all, okay, they would take you in a domestic violence situation, situation, and then you go to put the handcuffs on. Soon as they put the handcuffs, guess who go on your back? That woman. No, no, no! Because <laughs> they see their, the meal ticket going out the door. You know? they Yeah. And so, wow. yeah, you said you've seen some things, and I'm sure you have. And you ain't got to bring up names, I'm not trying to get you implemented. But have you ever seen anybody publicly that we know put your hand on somebody? Well, I'm talking that about shit night. That's all I was wrong. Oh, shit, all right, Dang. Yeah. Mm. I don't know, shit night, but that don't seem surprising to me back then. Like, I, just I mean, but like, I but my point is the females would, you know, they will fight back or whatever. But they will be right back with them the next day. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we've ever seen anybody like Diddy. We, we were joking yesterday about, like, this dude has so many allegations, so much stuff thrown at him, and he'll go up and throw an IG post and let the comments fly. I seen something yesterday. I don't know if you saw this. He got this big-ass bed out there at his yard. Chris Brown was dancing on that joint yesterday. Chris Brown was over there. Chris Brown was dancing on the bed. Wow. Diddy don't give a fuck. <laughs> Have you ever met anybody like a person that go through what they go through? You hear you hear lawyers say, "Oh, you got to do this, you got to do that." Diddy don't care. What does that say? Real about? reality haven't set in, you know, because you got to remember every lawyer, anybody ever been in trouble, you let a lawyer tell you, "I got this, I got yeah. this." Yeah. I, and, and by the way, my my secretary says she haven't got that hundred thousand uh, dollar uh, fee yet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I, I got this. I got this. Oh, yeah, that's okay. We'll deal with that. Oh, yeah, but to say that $200,000 check that I was promised, it hadn't came, it hadn't, it hadn't hit my account yet. Yeah. yeah. They didn't make you feel good. They keep yeah. you, <laughs> they keep you right. assured. <laughs> as long as that money keep depositing, they're going to make you feel good. Yeah. Exactly. So I, 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 I believe that's what's going on with you. Once they said the grand jury was convened, and yeah. we have seven different, seven different uh, attorneys working on these these cases. Or, or he admits that he has seven different attorneys working on different things. That means right. that the IRS didn't contact them. That means an assault guy didn't talk to contact them. That means a RICO guy didn't contact them. Mm -hmm. And so this attorney that's controlling all this is telling them, "I need a, a specialist in this. I need a specialist in this." And as long as you pay, they're gonna make sure you're good or, or feeling yeah. good. Yeah. And then when it comes, hey, we got it, we got it, we go. This was coming. We knew this was coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we got to work on this bill. We got... And then when they find out you broke, <laughs> uh, you know, I think it's time that you might need to take a take a plea. You know, they got you, <laughs> man. <laughs> you might need to make a deal. Right. That's now, how the now, game go, man. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Now, 
do you would you say that Diddy you any chance of him dipping, getting on a jet, being out? Because somebody's gonna leak it to him that they come in before they're oh. gonna come. You know that. Yeah, it, 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 yeah. Um, I do. I mean, I've been telling him for the last year, nigga, you better go over there and visit Russell. You, yeah. you better go over there and hang out with Russell. But he ain't been listening to me, so I got it. But I've right. been telling him, liquidate. I, I, if y'all listen yeah. to my bill, nigga, you need a liquidate. Yeah. Get all the money you can and get over there with Russell and go laugh with Russell. Yeah. I'll do some yoga. But, I just I don't know. I don't know. We don't know Diddy. I mean, I've I've had a brief interaction with him in a nightclub one time when I worked there. He don't seem like the type of dude that's gonna go anywhere. I think his arrogance is makes him feel like he's about to be good. I don't think he can fathom the fact that as real as this shit is. I don't know. That's just from the outside looking in. Ask Shine how he how he how he um Ooh. how he do under pressure. Damn. Mm, mm, mm. I'm good, man. Yeah, I'm good. You see man. what Jay Lo did. J Lo got rid of his ass. Right after that. J Lo, J Lo was like, "Bye, <laughs> bye, nigga." He's trying to wipe That's that shit off with and everything. She don't want nothing, nothing to do with that situation. Nothing to do with it. It's, it's... So I don't man. know. I, I, you know, I don't know either. But from what it appears about the man, and appears of his actions, uh, and appear of the allegation, and to see what happened to people recently, the 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 Harvey. Weinstein's and Bill and all of that, you know. I R. Kelly. Yeah. I wouldn't take my chances. I can go live good over there and fucking uh, wherever, wherever they don't extradite. Yeah. When you got money, only broke motherfuckers not supposed to. Only a broke motherfucker supposed to be still here, uh, right. trying to fight something like that. I'm gone. Yeah, I'm out too. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. I'm supposed to be worth a billion. I only need a hundred. You can have my billion dollars worth of access. Give me a hundred million dollars right now. Yeah, I can live off of that. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I, I I'm not sure playing with you, United States. <laughs> I heard that. I'm yeah. not taking the chance. I done seen y'all. I seen y'all in action. Yeah, should be interesting. You saying you call in September? That's that's the shot. You call in September? We've I've September. heard that a few times that September is going to be the month that they grab Diddy, but we shall see, man. That was about because that was about four months from the time he got arrested. That's why, that's why that's a privilege. They figured it take them about four, four months to do what they got to do. Well, do us a favor. We know you got a lot of friends on a lot of different platforms, but if he does in fact get caught up, I'm gonna holler at you, man. See if we can get you back on here to talk about. Yeah. It. Oh, you know, anytime you text me, you know I always got you, Sam. And that's a fact, bro. And that's why we appreciate you, man. A lot of people love you and hate you out here on these streets, but I honestly don't care. We don't care about none of that. Anytime we uh, reach out to you, you're gracious. You pick up the phone and you you definitely show us love, man. So we appreciate you, Reggie. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, cheers to you getting healthier and, and always dropping the real on our platform. Reggie, right on the Hip Hop and Sense of Podcast. Mm -hmm. Brother, if you have anything else, if you want anybody, um, let people know where they can follow you. Any of your platforms you got going on no. right now, let them know. It's Bomb First. Y'all come on, check me out on Bomb First Daily. Uh, uh, about 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, you usually get some something to make you laugh, something to make you go, uh, <laughs> one of the two. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to say, man, we appreciate you. Reggie, right on Hip Hop, a sense of podcast. Y'all keep getting the home runs. Y'all keep getting up in that batter box and keep swinging out. Yes, sir. We on it, man. Take care of yourself, brother. Right. Just don't pass me up because I'm only on second base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We try not to, brother. You take care. All right, brother.